And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Atlanta Braves. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chumby, Andrew Vaughn. He's homered in five straight games. So here's at bats coming our way from him. Yeah, and I find it interesting because watch, he was trying to keep the ball in the ballpark, hitting line drives the other way. So many times those home runs are mistakes, and I think he'd probably say half of the home runs he's hit lately have been mistakes because he's just trying to go gap to gap. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And now for the Marlins, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The center fielder of the two. Jazz Jr. The pitch. Line drive to short and caught. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. He's been on fire at the dish lately. 15 hits over the last five games for him. What a run. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. That's such a frustrating play for an outfielder. You know you should make this play, but you never really had a chance because of the bad angle. What should have been an out turned out to be a double. One down. Luis Arise stands in. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. towards right center that's well struck hits the fence and they'll score first it's lumps in rides into second and he's got a double and that extends his hitting streak yet again this is starting to get pretty interesting singy yeah, and the way he's going it seems like there's no end in sight this is a guy that no pitcher wants to face right now especially with runners on base I mean He's doing all the little things right, and it just seems like he's in cruise control at the plate. And now, Jake Berger. Line drive, caught! Well, not in time, as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. And up next for Miami, Nick Fortes. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Adios, Pelota! His 14th of the year. It's 3-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to kiss McCain long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Willie Adamas stands in. He's done a great job making contact recently. Owns a 10-game hitting streak right now, and this is where it starts to get fun. And that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy, but that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't. And this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row. Man, that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good. And that hit carries a little extra meaning, Boog. It keeps his hitting streak going. He is dialed in at the dish right now. I don't think there's a more confident hitter in all of baseball right now. Looks like he's expecting a knock every time he steps to the plate. So two down, and here's the veteran outfielder, Avasail Garcia. Two homers in the game yesterday, so he's feeling good coming in. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one carrying. Adios, pelota. 
It's their second home run of the inning. It's six nothing. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you could say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. Brian Snicker out of the dugout and he's going to make a change. That does it for Chris Sale as the lefty makes way. We'll be back in a minute with a new pitcher for the Braves, Joe Jimenez. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance. That one ripped right center field. Adios, pelota. They go back to back. Home run number 15 on the year. And they add a run. It's 7 0. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. There's a swing and a drive. Adios, pelota! is 26th of the year and they tack on to their lead it's eight nothing so the streak stays alive his fourth straight game with a home run boog that's like a cycle of home runs and i know how much you love the cycle he's absolutely punishing mistakes right now he can't miss nicky lopez the next up for the marlins That one ripped left field. A dive and he can't haul it in. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did and he did it perfectly. And now here's the Marlins DH, Luis Arias, doubled in his first A.B. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. Run comes in from second. It's 9-0. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. He has had such a good day to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. 